Hello, my name is Joe Fong Lin. Today I'm going to present fire and leaching resistance of fire retardant resin modified wood. First of all, I would like to start from common chemical compounds for fire retardant treated wood. Typically, the compounds that would uh, contain uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, boron to achieve the fire resistance of the wood. And here is some uh, examples, such as uh, Dricon, Debrans, or Copper Fire Pro. However, this kind of treatment, they are more aimed for interior use because uh, these uh, chemicals, they are more sensitive to uh, weathering. There are, there are two approaches uh, to achieve this uh, lecture resistant. And uh, first of all, you is so-called reactive type. You take your fire retardant additives to react with uh, other monomer to let it become a part of the polymer chain. And by doing that, you could uh, stabilize your fire retardants in the polymer chain. Or you take your additives to react with the wood matrix to create a stable covalent bond. Or you could uh, approach it by the so-called composite type you take your additives, you mix with the polymer matrix, and then you take the mixture to treat the wood. I use the composite type approach because they are easier to perform and also more dominate the market because you don't have to modify the formulation of your additives. And here shows how I perform an experiment. And uh, first of all, I took this uh, fire retardant additives, Guri urea phosphate, and the boric acid, and let them dissolve in the water. And another batch is uh, MF resin prepolymer, and uh, simply by mix them and then do this uh, vacuum pressure impregnation. And after that, apply some uh, heat to let uh, these uh, polymers that is polymerized within a wood structure. And after that, I use limiting oxygen index to analyze its uh, fire performance. And also because I want to understand if these uh, fire retardant additives, if they are stable within the wood matrix, so I applied the uh, region test EN84, which means uh, the samples was uh, soaked in waters for 14 decks and uh, changed waters 10 times in between. And after that, the samples was removed from the water and dry it and then to analyze it is uh, fire performance and uh, compare its uh, result before and after EN84. And here shows the screening test of the untreated wood and the treated wood after leaching. And uh, to perform this uh, screening test, I applied uh, a burner with approximately 2000 degrees Celsius against the material for around uh, one minute. And as here you can see that uh, for this uh, untreated material, after you remove the heat source, the material continuously burning, and on the other hand, for this uh, treated material, after you remove the heat source, it stopped burning, and so it material of this uh, treated wood it remains its uh, original structure. And for more details on the limited oxygen index results and the TGA results, please go to our conference paper. Thank you for your attention.